system shall display the newspaper in the browser. All right? We want to keep it very much focused on the user and what they're expecting the system to do. Wherever possible, give the user a name. You remember from the previous lecture we were talking about the at least three different users for a video platform. The people who watch videos, the people who administer videos, and the people who develop the platform itself. All right? If you've got different classes of users, specify which user you're talking about. It's also possible that you're going to have a negative requirement, okay? And in this case, we want to use strong negative auxiliary verbs, such as shall not, cannot, will not, and so on. What we do not want to use ever, no, make sure that this is absolutely forbidden, is words like should, may, might, and can. Notice, cannot is strong, can is weak. Yeah? Fred can eat worms, but I'm not going to. Fred might run a marathon, but it's not very likely. So we always have to describe the requirements using these strong positives or strong negatives. Should is only a suggestion. All right? If you go to a legal process, if there's a dispute about the requirement specification, if the judge sees the word should, may, might, can, it's not a requirement. You are not legally required to do that. These, however, are requirements. So be very careful about the language you use while you are actually writing a description of what the user wants.